A sliver of hope for the Chuck Clark health news? We'll take it. Let's dive in, baby. Zoinks. It is unequivocally the Super Bowl for New York Jet fans. Field Gates, baby. Field Gas Guardians. Let's bring him on the show. Come on, people. Connor Rogers is joining the show. What's up, Connor? But Trevor Gaston Sikama, baby. For me, personally, my favorite New York Jet of all time. Wow, it's great to be on. What an intro that was right there. Paul, you, nobody does an intro like you. Well, you, you give the best intro of literally any podcast that I've, I've, I've ever seen. I'm going to lose my gas darn bananas. Hey, everybody, it's time to rock and roll. My name is Paul Esden Jr., a.k.a. Boy Green. I'm the New York Jets digital reporter for Heavy.com. Make sure you guys like the video. Hit subscribe down below for more sexy, insightful, and juicy New York Jets content. A bit of bummer news, of course, the Chuck Clark stuff. In case you missed it, he suffered a serious knee injury in practice. That confirmed by Rich Samini of ESPN. Zach Rosenblatt, the one who broke the story initially, uh, you know, he got hurt in practice and unfortunately it appears uh, season ending from everything that we understand, but there is a glimmer of hope. There is a possibility we could get a miracle return at the end of the season. Full details in the article down below via Zach Rosenblatt on the can't wait podcast down below. We're going to dive into it here. Uh, Zach Rosenblatt, from everything he's gathered, said that it would be a surprise if Chuck Clark plays in the 2023 season. So this is a 99% thing until it's official. Chuck Clark is seeking second and uh, perhaps beyond that medical opinion on the injury. The initial thought, the speculation on social media is it is an ACL injury, a a possible tear of uh, some kind uh, from that perspective. But... At the end of the day, the good news here uh, for uh, Chuck Clark, if there is any to be had, there could be some sort of positive update uh, from that second, uh, you know, uh, medical opinion that maybe there could be a saving grace there, although it appears grim from that perspective. But there is a sliver of hope. And like I said, Zach Rosenblatt mentioned it on the Can't Wait podcast. We have the full details down below. And it is this, that because Chuck Clark got injured in June, The first half of the good news is that, of course, he will be ready for the 2024 season. Now, he is not under contract for the 2024 season. He is entering the last year of his deal here in 2023, and he's set to be an unrestricted free agent. The Jets gave up nothing, a 2024 seventh-round pick, but there's also another option. So he could be ready for 2024 because he got hurt so early, relatively speaking. Zach Rosenblatt said there is an outside chance that if the Jets make the playoffs, and by the way, according to the analytics, the computer nerds, the Jets have a 51.9% chance of making the playoffs, according to ESPN FBI. That is the 12th overall best odds of any team in the NFL and the sixth best odds in the AFC to make the playoffs. So if the Jets make the playoffs, Zach Rosenblatt said, hey, maybe you can squint and believe that Chuck Clark could be ready at that point for the Jets. Again, maybe a second medical opinion gives them even better news, but right now, based on everything we know, he is likely not going to play. But if the Jets make the playoffs and they are favored to do so, according to the analytics, Chuck Clark could make a late comeback. So fingers crossed, baby, for Chuck Clark. And I'm going to be honest, this one is a complete Debbie Downer. I love Chuck Clark, love this, uh, you know, bringing him in, and unfortunately, in Jets fashion, right? This is a guy in Chuck Clark who has been captain durability throughout his entire career. He's appeared in 94 out of 96 possible games during his NFL career. Okay. He was on an Iron Man streak that dates back to 2021. People, it's 2023 of 1,200 plus consecutive snaps. And of course, he comes to the Jets, and unfortunately, the snake bitten injuries, booyah, bites him right on the tuchus. And uh, we're praying for him. We're hoping for him. We're hoping for some good news to come from this, but uh, it doesn't seem great. Now, The news that we have to kind of take a step back to say is, well, hopefully, you know, losing a safety isn't going to change the dynamics of uh, your expectations for the season. And Zach Rosenblatt said that in the article down below. 
uh, where he said, hey, the, the Super Bowl expectations that were here are still here now. And now, of course, it will be Jordan Whitehead and Adrian Amos on the back end of the defense holding down the fort. Initially, we thought we had a little bit of depth with three possible starters at the safety spot, but it does appear that there will only be two with Amos and Whitehead. And by the way, you know, they kind of complement each other a little bit better. Amos, a true free safety coming out of college. He's played a little bit of both in the NFL, but he's got a little bit of that ball hawk action going on with 10 career picks. Could be the yin to the yang to the mac to the cheese, the salt to the pepper on, <coughs> on the back end of that defense, which could be spectacular. And quite frankly, I mean, you can make an argument. If the Jets have a true ball hawking center fielder safety, now Amos obviously coming off a down year, but historically speaking, the PFF coverage grades and just the overall eye test is Adrian Amos has been one of the better uh, safeties, especially coverage safeties in the NFL. So if the Jets get that guy and you pair him with that corners, Sass Gatna, Michael Carter, the gosh darn second, and freaking DJ Reed, baby, all of a sudden you're cooking with gas, baby, on that secondary, quite possibly being one of the best in the freaking NFL. So tough news on Chuck Clark, although there's a glimmer of hope that potentially there's a late comeback in the works, hopefully so. If not, they'll have Amos and Whitehead, who I will be honest, I, I don't think they're the best safety combination in the league, but quite frankly, it's better than last year. Let's be honest, LaMarcus Joyner, mm, hit and miss despite some of those random Pro Bowl votes, a little hit and miss. So they're going to be in a much better position this time around, but injuries are going to happen. Okay. The Jets got absolutely bamboozled with injuries in the trenches last year on the offensive line specifically. And I'm sure some of those injuries are going to come on the defensive side of the ball. And the Jets are going to have to be ready to roll with the punches. The good news is they got cash. They are top six in salary cap space. So they can wiggle. They can move and groove if they need to. And Joe Douglas has a history. Morgan Moses, Quan Alexander, maybe Adrian Amos is added to that list of late offseason additions being key pieces to the puzzle. We'll see indeed if Amos joins that elite group coming up in the 2023 season. Guys, make sure you like the video. Hit subscribe down below and also check out the article. Let us know what you think in the comments down below about the potential glimmer of hope for Chuck Clark. We're looking forward to your comments and back and forth and discussion. This is a Jets community by the people for the people. Let us know what you think and uh, we'll be interacting with you. Thanks everybody for tuning in. We'll see you next time right here on the show.